Hey everyone, it's Jazzy34 here, and today I'm just going to do another little anime book, art book show off to you today. And today we're going to be doing the little tribute to Imaishi, his little artwork, like the shows that he's, he's done artwork for like Kill a Kill and Panty and Stocking, stuff like that. It's just a little show off of this manga that I bought at Oticon in 2014. And definitely when I was down there at Oticon, I bought like a, a whole bunch of art books down there. And this was one of the ones that I was really interested in getting. And it was only about, <laughs> from it says right here, it was about $15. And I got it from the Kino Kunia book, little bookstore. They had a little setup, <laughs> they set up shop there. Which I was really happy that they had, um, that they had their booth there as well. Because they had so much awesome stuff that I wanted to get. As well as like Toho art books and stuff like that. So yeah, <laughs> you see we got some little little fan art, it's a little tribute to the <laughs> tribute to the artist. You see these are just really nice little art scoops. Really nice. We have a nice little one right there. We should have gotten also like had these like into like little posters and stuff like that. But this really turned out really well. I also like this little art. Like this little <laughs> group picture right here. And the show was really awesome to watch. It was when I was just started watching Kill It Kill. It was just something that just <laughs> I was like, I really wanted to watch the entire series. I just never got a bored a bored moment watching it. And also here we got some panty and, panty and stocking as well. I also really like this series. Uh, <laughs> I know a lot of people are like really confused with the ending, but I didn't really mind the ending as much to it though. Um, probably, some people are thinking they probably should have like a second season coming out to kind of explain that ending, but I'm I'm fine with that ending. I don't really mind it as much. I, I would much rather have certain endings to animes to be just just kind of mysterious and nonsensical. It's just you know, they don't have to explain everything. It's like some things are just left to, to just be just buzz out like what the hell was that and just leave it at that. I don't really like. <laughs> the mystery is much more it's much more entertaining to me than just kind of explain outright what certain stuff means. You know, like if you just watch certain movies where the ending is just like, what the, what the world just happened? I was like, why well, should I prefer it that way? Because <laughs> it just makes you think. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with thinking about something like, thinking like alternative things about things. <laughs> things about things. <laughs> And here we have some Gurren Lagann right here. We got. Let's see, this was like a nice little purchase <laughs> that I got from Otakon. And hopefully, um, unfortunately, this is like the only anime from the um from the feature artist that was in this book. It doesn't have like stuff like from Space Patrol Ludico because this was like a couple of this was before that series came out, so it only had like the three the three main ones that came out during the um past two or three years. But yes, this was still a nice, still a really nice art book. And also, I would have liked to um, probably find like another one that has like a little updated version with the other, like the latest ones that came out, like Kids Niver or Space Patrol Ludico and Little Witch Academia. I hope they do come out with a, like another collaboration book as like another tribute to Imaishi. That would be really nice. So if I see that, I'll definitely pick that up. Hope you really enjoyed this video. Everyone, have a nice day.